Hi, I'm Dawn and this is where Shabby meets Bling. It is July, so that means today is Christmas in July and we are going to be working on gingerbread projects. Oh, gingerbread, so excited, so excited. If you remember, uh, last year, I turned this children's playhouse into a giant gingerbread house. So today I'm going to be working on items to use as accessories for my giant gingerbread house. Before we get started, I would love to thank our hosts, Jackie from Crafting in Mimi's World and Sarah from Jujube DIY. You will find the links to their wonderful channels and this playlist in the description box below. These are some of the items I will be using. These thrifted frames, these tiny thrifted frames, and a little birdhouse I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, I've got some scrap little pieces of wood, a candlestick, and these little tiny styrofoam balls. We begin by disassembling the little tiny frames, and then we clean them up. I'm creating new backs for the tiny frames because they will be going outside, so I'm going to make them of wood. Luan is a thin wood, so it cuts very easily with my utility knife. This little birdhouse is adorable, but I feel the base is a little too, uh, too thin and wimpy, so I'm using a little scrap piece of wood to beef it up. And I'm gonna wood glue it and clamp it and let it dry. This beautiful little candlestick has what appears to be chalk paint on it, so I need to get it off because I will be painting it and I need to make sure my paint adheres. So I'm gonna give it a nice little sanding with my wet sanding block and then I'm gonna wash it up real good. My birdhouse is nearly dry, so I need to hurry things along and I'm going to glue my candlestick to the base of the little piece of wood that I glued to my birdhouse. I just need to make sure I get it centered and I'm gonna use my B7000 and some hot glue so I get an instant hold and a permanent hold. Now that my frames are disassembled and cleaned and my birdhouse is cleaned and, and assembled, they need a good coat of paint and I need to make them look like gingerbread. I use two different colors of spray paint to achieve my gingerbread color. Uh, there's a video that I show you how to do this and I will leave the link to that video in the description box below. Now that our sweet little birdhouse has the color of gingerbread, now we need to decorate it like a little gingerbread house. Keep in mind, this will be sitting outside my giant gingerbread house, so it has to be to scale. I use these little cookies on my big house, so I'm going to use them as the roof on my tiny little birdhouse. I had five, so it's a good thing I only needed five or I would have been in trouble. Now I'm going to start adding the detailing, which is going to mimic my giant gingerbread house. I'm actually using dimensional fabric paint. I have had great success with this and I absolutely love using it. You've got really good control because you're simply using the bottle. I am filling in all the little cracks around my little roof shingles, my cookie shingles, and I'm making little swirls and little dots to make it look like icing. Now I'm going in with some green because I'm going to create some boughs, some evergreen. And I had to stop right about here and go to the store and get another bottle because I was running low. So I'm back <laughs> with two bottles of green. <laughs> What I'm doing now is I'm going over my original uh, green, my original boughs, because I am creating dimension. The more you go over after you let it dry, uh, the, the more depth and uh, dimension you're gonna achieve. This is my second and final coat. And while it's still wet, what I'm going to do is I am going to take white sand. Yes, white sand, not glitter. I love me some glitter, 
but in this circumstance, I'm using white sand because I think it gives me a more natural look of frost and snow, and I'm just sprinkling it on. One really nice thing about the sand is that it helps the paint to dry. It, it absorbs the moisture out of it and your paint will dry faster. So I will do two coats all the way around my little birdhouse and I will sand it. And it's not the only place I'm gonna use sand. Frost, it's frost, frost on the icing. <laughs> I'm even adding some boughs on the little roof. Now it's time to address our birdhouse post. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be creating uh, a melted candy cane look on the post. And the first thing I need to do is figure out where my little stripes are gonna lay. And so I'm just adding some dots on the top of that first little uh, nub <laughs> and then I'll add some on the bottom as well. Now I connect my dots with my red and then I come back with my white and fill in between. And I am heavy handed with this paint guys because we need it to look like it's melting. But I am adding my sand. Now for some holly berries on the bow and a few more finishing touches. Now that our teeny tiny little gingerbread birdhouse is nearly complete, I need to change gears and start working on those teeny tiny itty bitty little gingerbread frames. Our frames have that beautiful gingerbread color and now I'm going in and I'm icing them using some of that same icing detail that I used on my gingerbread house. Now, my giant gingerbread house actually has walls inside. And uh, so we are gonna hang a couple portraits on those walls. This is exciting. I'm designing and decorating for a gingerbread house. <laughs> what fun. Once I've completed my frames, it's time to think about filling those frames with a couple of beautiful portraits. Well, they're not portraits yet. Right now, they're just kind of a landscape. And I'm using an old uh, Christmas card that I received quite a few years back. I keep my Christmas cards. Hey, go figure, I keep something. <laughs> I am not a hoarder, I swear. I have plans for everything. <laughs> so I'm simply tracing the glass and then cutting out two of the little tiny pictures. So now to make them portraits. And when I say portraits, that means there has to be someone in the pictures. So there's your gingerbread man in the pictures. <laughs> I'm using dimensional brown paint to do this. And I'm simply just making tiny little dots, AKA gingerbread man. So while I'm not so patiently waiting for my little gingerbread men in the photos, See, now they're and the frames to dry I'm going to make one more thing so I figured I made a birdhouse um, I need to have a bird right so I decided I'm going to sculpt a teeny tiny little bitty gingerbread bird I'm gonna simply use some small styrofoam balls I looked high and low for just the right size bird. I looked retail, I looked resale, and do you think I could find a teeny tiny bird? So you know what? Heck with that, make it yourself. So I am carving down one of the big star foam balls. And I'm at this point just trying to get like his little chest area, his actual main body, not his wings or his head just the main part of his body. I'm using the scraps from what I cut off of the larger tiny, <laughs> the large tiny star foam ball to make his wings and his tail feathers. Then I'm using the tiny star foam ball, the teeny tiny one, to form his little tiny head. A few more little pushes and uh, adjustments, a little molding, and then we need to assemble our little tiny bird. 
simple little scraps for his tail and I will hot glue them and just hold them in place and I will do the same for the tiny wings and his little itty bitty head. My my sweet little teeny tiny birdie, little Bert the birdie, uh, is so tiny I had to put a toothpick in him so I could paint him. I am using uh, nutmeg paint here and the color really is insignificant as long as it's close to gingerbread because I will be sanding him. A few finishing details and some assembly and then I'm ready to share my little tiny gingerbread projects with all of you. So here's my gingerbread birdhouse. You can see the roof, the little shingles made out of cookies, and all the icing pouring out. And this is my melted candy cane steak. See how it just looks like it's melted and the day got a little warm. I love using that technique. And I did add a bow, an icy bow, which I simply made out of raffia. I used paint, craft paint, and sand. And there's my little bird, my little sugar gingerbread bird. And you can see the boughs and the dimension I achieved by the layers of paint. My sweet little gingerbread birdhouse will be just the right size to sit outside my giant gingerbread house. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. Here's our gingerbread portraits. There's Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread. They are climbing up the snowy path to get a better look at Santa in the sky. And oh look, Junior's out checking out Santa Claus. Who's in the back of that sleigh? It's another gingerbread man. So cute. These will be hanging in my giant gingerbread house. So excited. So many more things to make. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Share it with your family and friends and anyone that likes gingerbread, Christmas, and decor. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and check out my new shop on Etsy. You can show your support of this channel by subscribing, so don't forget to subscribe. But for now, this is Dawn with Shabby Meat Spling. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And a happy Christmas in July.